Welcome to this video on your home websites. This video will provide details on what is displayed on the website. To learn how to make changes to your listings, view the video on modifying your home websites, located on the cafe. Your home websites are unique photo-focused websites for all long and foster residential listings designed to provide expanded and enhanced marketing and exposure. Each site has a unique web address with a portion of the street address. Some content mirrors the property detail page on www.longandfoster.com, but your home websites are a standalone website marketing tool. The your home web address will be the address number, followed by a dash, street name, followed by a dot, followed by lflisting.com. If there is a condo number a dash will follow the street name followed by the condo number before the dot lflisting.com. Please note that the street name does not have the second part, such as road, street, lane, court, etc. These do not appear in the web address. Enter the Your Home Web Address into the address field in your browser. The Your Home Website displays the default image of the property first. Once the default image has displayed for a few seconds, the second image will display. Then every few seconds the next image will display until all the images have displayed. Once this has completed, the images will start over starting with the default image. Only one image is required for your home website to be created, however, the more images you have the better the website will appear to the viewer. Along with the default image is the property's address and price at the top of the page. The number of bathrooms, bedrooms, and the county the property is located in is displayed on the left side of the page. On the right side of the page is the agent's name, office address, and contact phone numbers for the agent. Directly above the images is a menu line of options. The first item is a drop-down menu that allows the viewer to learn more about this property. Once that link is clicked, the drop-down menu will be displayed. The menu includes links to view the photo gallery of the property, property details, a property brochure, any virtual tours, information about the community and schools in the area, and information about the agent. Click on the photo gallery option. The photo gallery will open a new window and display all of the photos in a grid pattern on the page. You can enlarge each photo by clicking on the photo. Clicking on the enlarged photo or the X in the corner, will return you to the gallery. Each photo will have five stars on the image. The first star represents the number one or one star rating, up to the fifth star which represents a five star rating. The viewer can rate each photo by clicking the corresponding star. We will now look at the second menu option, Property Details. Click on the drop-down menu to open it again. Select the Property Details option. This will display a rotating display of images of the property at the top, with more details found by scrolling to the bottom of the page. Under the images are property remarks taken from the MLS. Additional details are listed on the left side, along with a mapped location of the property. At the bottom of the page is a link to the market minute data for the area the property is located in. We will now look at the next option. Property Brochure, open the main drop-down menu again, and select the Property Brochure option. The site will display the e-brochure of the property. You have the option to print or download a brochure of the property here by clicking the print icon to print, or the downward pointing arrow to download this property brochure. We will now discuss the next option, Virtual Tours. Click on the main menu. Clicking on the Virtual Tours option will display any virtual tour associated with this property, if one is available. For our example, one has not been associated. Community and School Information is the next item listed on the menu. Click on this option. A new window will open and display information about the community such as community characteristics, housing stability, population demographics, climate and weather education data, employment, income level, and crime statistics. After viewing all the data, click close to return to the Your Home website page. 
We will now discuss the final option from the main drop-down menu, Agent Information. Click on the menu to open it. Then, select the About the Agent option. Listed on this page is a photo of the agent, agent biography, office address, contact phone numbers, portal website address, email address, and cities and counties that agent serves. On the same menu bar as the Learn More About This Property menu, you can find a link titled Visit Property. Click on this link. This will open a window which will display the property on a map and allow the viewer to enter a starting point to find the directions to the property using the fields provided. Click the close button to return to the your home website. In the center of the main menu bar, the viewer can request a showing of the property. Click the schedule a showing link. This will open a window displaying a form to be filled out, which is then emailed to the listing agent to request a showing of the property. Click on the Cancel button to return to the Your Home website without sending the form. On the right side of the main bar, the viewer can click a link which will open and display a photo gallery of all of the photos of the property. This is the same photo gallery we viewed earlier. Finally, you can post the property on social media sites such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest and others. Click the appropriate link from the menu bar to open a window to post this property on that social media site. This concludes this presentation on details of what is displayed on the Your Home website pages. Additional training videos on this and other topics are on the Long and Foster Cafe. We thank you for viewing this video.